Over 250 community members gathered under clear blue skies at Clifton City Hall to celebrate India's 78th Independence Day, organized by the Indo-American Senior Association of Clifton. The event began with a Shanti part by young Arya Patel of BAPS, followed by a speech on the significance of India's independence by Ms. Hirol Patel. Association President Bharat Rana welcomed dignitaries, including Mr. Rajendra Kumar, Council of Community Affairs at the Indian Consulate, and Clifton Mayor Ray Grabowski, who praised the Indian-American community for their contributions to the city. New Jersey State Assemblywoman Rosie Bogoli expressed her support for the community, while Councilman Bill Gibson shared his long-standing attendance at the ceremony. Former Mayor of Clifton and Congressman Bill Pascrell's liaison spoke of his deep respect for the Indian American community. The event concluded with the raising of the Indian tricolor, the playing of both national anthems and a feast of delicious Indian food, leaving everyone in high spirits. Take a look. 78 Indian Independence Day celebration here in the Grand Oak City of Clifton. Independence Day is a time to showcase pride in the, and the patriotism. It is also a reminder that despite, despite our difference in a language or tradition, we are all part of one nation. On Independence Day, we join hands to honor the courage of the brave people who fought for our rights. Today we all gather as a proud people of Indian origin to show our patriotism and to display our rich culture. We are not only celebrating India's independence, but strengthening the culture, social bonds between the two greatest and the largest democracies. In conclusion, let us pledge to uphold the values that our freedom fighter fought for and together build a nation that is free, strong, and prosperous. The future of our country lies in our hands. Thank you, and a Jai Hind, and a God bless America. Thank you very much. Um, so he really uh, feels so proud to come here and celebrate Independence Day. I was not prepared for as you guys know, so I told yeah. you I had to speak. Okay. And I can say one word. Bharata is always making make sure everybody get warm welcome yeah. and get the recognized. I really appreciate you, Bharata, and thank you everyone who coming here. And I really wanted to see more entrepreneur from Indian community to come out and see the different vision. As I'm in healthcare, under the home care and hospice, I see a lot of patients who are in in life and most of our nurses are seeing and helping them out. So I feel we are grateful there to supporting us in the Clifton City. Thank you so much for advice to helping us. Thank you so much. People like me who've been an, in a front row seat recognize that it didn't come without sacrifice and without challenge. You all went through the challenges of immigration. Some of you are still dealing with it, trying to bring family members over. You struggled with bias. You struggled with the bias and people hear your accent. But you've come through all of that in ways that are so extraordinary and such a remarkable example for every last one of us here in the United States of America, whatever our own background is. So whether you're celebrating 78 years of Indian independence or the years that you've been here building your family, building your community, I'm with you. I'm proud to be a Jamairaj of this community, and I wish you all the best today. On behalf of Bill Pasquale, I want to thank the Indian American community for all they've done for our district, uh, especially for Clifton, because we know a large community is here. And I also want to praise uh, Barat because he's kept this thing going all these years. And he also invites me to the Indo Senior Citizens um, group every year. And uh, I think he told me last year I was a member now. But uh, the one thing I like about today, Barat, it's 78. 
and it's older than me. There's not many things older than me anymore. <laughs> but anyway, God bless you and best greetings from Bill Clinton. Cultural tapestry is absolutely amazing and the Indian community is a large part of that. What I think is most admirable um, from the education point of view is how strong families are behind their students here in Clifton. Many of your students, they, they shine in our school system. I truly, we truly appreciate the support that you give them. And without, without you, it wouldn't be possible. So I would just like to congratulate you on your 78th anniversary of independence. Um, hope there are many, many more in your future. And thank you for all you bring to our community and to our school system. Thank you very much, Commissioner. Speakers and give a warm thank you to Bharat and the Indo-American seniors for uh, having this flag raising, hosting this beautiful event and celebrating the independence of India. And um, I think my message today, my short brief message, because I also wasn't planning to speak today, is going to be one of thanks. I'm relatively new in Clifton. I moved here in 2019 with my wife. We chose Clifton as our forever home. We've recently had a baby. He's nine weeks old. Thank you. Anyway, so, um, and you have the uh, you have the people that come up, your, your young generation that comes up, your future, and your educational background, all the positive things that we like to hear. We don't want to hear about controversy. We want to hear about the positive things. And when the Indian community come here, this is exactly what we hear. And I love it so much. So from my heart and from my family, we love you and uh, uh, all the best to you. And I'm sure I will be seeing at some type of uh, events. Bharat, thank you so much. Leadership that he brings to the city of Clifton and to the Indian community. So thank you, Bharat. You always make sure we're here. You always make sure that we're present. And it's great to have you as a leader of the Indian community here in Clifton. Thank you. Thank you. So let's give him a round of applause.